Wisconsin's governor-elect took to the steps of the Capitol the day after, defeating the Democratic Party candidate Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett. Tuesday's election saw what appeared to be unprecedented straight party ticket voting in Wisconsin. Walker and Republican U.S. Senate candidate Ron Johnson. But tomorrow we start the hard work. Both won by an identical 52 to 47 percent margin. Three-term Democrat Russ Feingold was on the short end of that race. Both houses of the state legislature also changed hands from a Democratic majority to Republican, with Republicans gaining 14 seats in the Assembly and four seats in the Senate. Democrats also lost two congressional seats. In the 8th District, Reed Ribble ousted two-term Democrat Steve Kagan. And Sean Duffy took the 7th District seat, defeating State Senator Julie Lassa. Lassa was drafted as a candidate after David Obey decided to retire. Republican Attorney General J.B. Van Hollen defeated Democrat Scott Hassett by a slightly wider margin. Now, the only Democrat to win a statewide race was Secretary of State Doug LaFollette. Meanwhile, Governor-elect Walker says with great power, that being both houses of the legislature and the executive seat, comes great responsibility. I think it basically is put up or shut up time. Uh, we have a charge, we have a mandate uh, from the voters of this state, and it's one we don't take lightly. Walker hit the ground running, talking outside the Capitol under the banner of Wisconsin is open for business. We're sending a strong message to employers, both those here and those looking to come uh, to the great state of Wisconsin that uh, there's a new approach. We're aggressive about uh, approaching business and adding jobs in this state. And uh, we want to be ready to go two months from today uh, as we not only are sworn in, but call a special session on jobs. Now, the same day he became governor-elect, Walker was already dealing with the news that the Kohler Company was laying off 350 workers in Wisconsin. In terms of what they're looking for specifically, obviously building a better business climate, making it more cost effective to do business is our top priority. Uh, but to the extent that we can offer specific things to keep jobs here, we're going to be proactive in doing that.